So yeah, the next group we oh, oopsies. Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing my first ever photo card storing since I got to Korea. I am so excited about this. I have a lot of cards. This isn't even half of it. There's literally so many more sitting on my table, and I'm going to be doing this in the style of basically everything I already had set up in my binders. But you guys wanted to see more photo card content from me, so basically all the fillers are already in, and I already know where everything's gonna go. But I'm gonna be storing everything. I literally took everything out just for the purpose of this video, so you're welcome. And I also asked you guys on Instagram for some questions about photo card storing. So I'll be answering some questions and storing everything. I hope you guys enjoy I really love making this kinds of content and obviously since I'm in Korea my binders are at home So I can't really make content like this and I decided to pick up some binders Oops, Oh my oh my I decided to pick up some binders here because I think it's just safer and I love 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 looking at my photo cards And I really love storing them. So yeah, we're going to be doing that today I am so excited and then at the end I'm gonna show you guys this little thing that I got here Let me show you this is a a5 binder. These ones are a4 so these are like normal three ring binders but this one is an a5 size and i put all of my bigger inclusions in here so i'll show you guys that at the end i'm not going to store them because i am way too lazy to take them out but everything else i will i have it split up basically the black one is my ultimate binder and then the white one is not alts but txt is also in the black one just for space and i'll show you guys kind of everything that i have going on so if you guys like me definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below and if you guys want to see more photo card content let me know also i'm still trying to figure out how to make the best kind of photo card content here so if you guys see the shadow i'm really sorry i'm trying to figure it out <laughs> but yeah we're working with what we got i'm so excited to make this video so let's get into it okay so for the first binder we're gonna start off with this one this is my non ultimate it goes from an hype in down to groups i don't collect for you guys who don't know i do collect and hype in i do collect treasure what other groups do oh i collect itsy i collect 80s oh and I think that's everybody that I collect and then I have obviously non collections of course So that is what's in here. Um, so yeah, let's just I guess let's go. Let's go for it I guess so this is going to be my in hyphen page for Sungun's um, what is this called? What is this album? Hello? Am I okay for Sungun's border carnival day one? So I do have these two cards here I'm pretty sure this one goes here and then this one goes here This is kind of how the collection is going and then also if you guys see I did have these little fillers that have little holes in them They are 100% for like studying but i mean this is this is studying kind of not really and then i don't know what happened uh, i was like why is this one so dark it's because of the shadow i can't really notice it but yeah that is basically how it's supposed to go yeah this one's at home and then i'm still missing three more cards so yeah it's a work in progress collecting and hyping is a pain in the butt i'm not gonna lie to y'all <laughs> i genuinely want to quit like every five seconds but then we get into carnival so this one is gonna go here this is the up version and then this one is gonna go here this is the hype version how am i gonna okay we're gonna do it like this okay great amazing so yeah that is basically how this collection is going again i'm so sorry for the shadow i will figure this out for the next video but yeah the sungun collection is not going well because he is a pain in the butt to collect um that is just a fact <laughs> he's so hard to collect and then we get into um some ot7 sets so actually no this is actually gonna be set up for my other bias cards i really 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 wish i could collect jake and chongwan but right now it's just really not gonna happen um i did have plans to collect them if you guys follow me on my trades and sales instagram i really did want to collect them but it, they're just so expensive so for right now i have what i pulled or what i traded for um and that's gonna basically be everything that i can probably get for them right oops, this one fell right now because they are just so expensive like collecting and hyping is so expensive and i already collect sangun who is arguably one of the most popular members and then tongwan is really popular himself and jake's not too bad but it's just like oh my god so expensive so this is like the little jake tongwan page i have because those are my biases um and then obviously we have a group card it's just oh my god but i have this card and this card's really the most expensive one of everything so good job ariel yep good job and then now we're gonna get into some ot7 sets so let's get it the first one we have is the light stick cards because i did purchase their light stick a while ago oopsies guys i'm trying to figure out this new setup i'm so sorry but yeah i bought their light stick a while ago and i wanted to put the cards in here of course these cards are super 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 cute i really like them and i want to get as many ot7 sets as i can because they are so expensive also for most groups i do it leader first but i don't know for an hype sometimes chung one is first sometimes he's not I don't really know what's wrong with my brain, but please excuse my brain. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, actually, let's answer a question really quickly before we get to the next set, because the next couple sets are just um, OT7 sets. Ah, okay. So the first question is, why do you have to sleeve your cards? Oh, uh, this is the from the Google package, by the way. Um, I mean, guys, sleeving your cards is honestly personal preference. And I'm just going to say that if you watch a collector, they're probably sleeving them. And I want you guys to understand that, like, most people, obviously, keeping their cards is end game, and you want to keep them, and you want to collect them, but 
think about it just from like a financial standpoint, like from a collecting standpoint, but also just from like a, I don't know, reselling standpoint, you want your cards to be in the best condition so that if you do want to resell them in the future, you can. And sleeving them is the best way to protect them, not only from like sun damage, but also just from like scratches and so they don't get damaged, you know, in the album. So, I mean, obviously collectors want them to be in the best condition, but like, I guess for me, it's kind of like a, what if I need to sell it in the future? I want it to be in the best condition. So you get the you get obviously the money for it um but obviously it's really just to keep them safe like at the end of the day it just keeps them safe from damages and i don't know i like sleeping them <laughs> it's aesthetic to sleep them but yeah that's a really good question i know a lot of people always ask me that like why do i do it and i think that's just why i don't know it's just like the best way to keep them out of harm i don't know why do you sleeve your cards i don't know that's a great question guys i really film these videos in the most uncomfortable ways always but that's just how i live my life i guess i make great choices all the time to film these so uncomfortably but yeah this is the next set from the google package again i'm so sorry my hand is all in this guys i have not filmed the photo card storing in so long and yesterday i was on the rabbit hole of watching k-pop youtube and like everybody is so aesthetic they're so lovely and like put together and all these channels have like such aesthetic binders and all of their content is so good and it's not blurry and then i watch my videos and i'm like why do i do this but you know, I enjoy it, so that's what matters. Also, I'm sitting on my knees, so my legs are giving out. And I hate these cards so much because they just keep slipping out. Yeah, that's the first photo card's um, Polaroid set. And then here's the second one. Oh, man, you guys, it's been so long that I've done one of these that I've forgotten what I talk about during these because I don't remember. Um, so that's fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Leave a comment if you're enjoying this because I'm not. <laughs> just kidding. I love watching these videos. I actually have watched mine back a lot, and I'm like, oh, I wish I could w make content like that again. I just like how, I don't know, I sometimes, okay, nobody needed to hear this, so I'm so sorry if you wanted to, didn't want to hear me talk about my feelings, but here you go. Sometimes I really wish, like, I could do, like, the more, like, aesthetic ones, but then I also love just, like, hearing people talk about their collections. Like, it's just so fun to hear people talk about, like, why they collect, who they collect, blah, 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 I don't know. Anyways, again, nobody needed to hear that, but you're welcome. And then here is the last set from the Google package. So this is the, like, unit Polaroids. I mean, un yeah, unit Polaroids and then the random member. So I thought about I would put Tawan in the middle because he's the member I pulled. And then I think I did it, like, around him, so I don't actually remember. And I just took them out of my binder, like... A few minutes ago so but yeah so cute i really love these little unit cards they are adorable i love the gugu package especially because it's called gugu i'm obsessed with it if you didn't know but now you know i'm obsessed with it um but yeah i'm sorry this is probably like the messiest photo card store you've ever seen in your entire lives and i am so sorry i apologize to all of you in advance but yeah, that's the Google package. And then I also realized that I have this thingy from the Google package that I kind of want to put in my binders, but I think I'm going to do it off camera because I have no strength. I have no strength for that. So that's going to go there. And then we're going to get into lucky draws because I did get to do lucky draws for Hypen's release. So I have a bunch of random ones. I actually didn't collect them for like anybody because it was just too much of a mess. So this is Sungoons from MTU. And then this one is Sungoons from Soundwave. And then this is Sungwoon's other one from Soundwave. I didn't have his other MTU one, but I don't really care. And then this is Chungwon's from MTU, Chungwon's from Soundwave, and then Heesung's from, I think this is from MTU. Yeah, I think this one's MTU. And then I have a Nikki duplicate from MTU, but I don't really think, oh, I also have this. It's handsome. Um, I don't really think I will be doing anything with it. I don't really want to sell it, so don't ask me about it because I'm keeping it. And then this is from the Hive Museum. Um, this is a Sungwoon's ticket, and it obviously says Ariel Cecilia on the bag. So cute. So yeah, that is this page for an hypen. All my lucky draws, super cute. The last page for an hypen is going to be extra cards because I actually have not been able to trade at all for anything here. And it's really frustrating. I wish I could trade, but I can't. So these are all just extra pulls from the albums for Carnival. So anything non-bias, I'm just gonna keep them for now. I don't know what I'll do with them in the future if I will get rid of them or if I will trade them or sell them or whatever. But for right now, they're gonna live here rent-free because, um yeah i cannot trade them right now so i also have a duplicate of this yeah i have a duplicate of these he's but buttons it's fine it's fine everything is fine we are vibing but yeah that's the little and hyphen 
section. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a mess, I'm sure. But yeah, let's move on to Treasure. So obviously Treasure haven't had any new releases since I've been here. If you guys are new here, I got here in March, but I did buy this really cute set of photo cards at the YG Cafe. And then I also bought these two photo cards from, what is it called? Oh, Sendika, which is a Japanese proxy. And I got them delivered here. These are the last two Treasure Effect cards I needed for Yoshi. The rest of them are back home, so they will not be reunited with the rest of my set until further notice. <laughs> but yeah, we can put these ones away first because this is what I set up for. So I just did it in age order and I did, oh my god, I keep kicking the tripod. I am so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I did an age order and I did a two to two to two to two to two pattern because I thought it'd be cuter. I don't know why. Don't judge my brain. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I bought these little cards. They're so cute. They're just little holograms. They have nothing on the back. Their backs are just white, but I like them, okay? I like them, so I bought them. Um, but yeah, obviously I love Treasure. I cannot wait for them to have a comeback, but I don't know when they will because YG hates my guts, but it's fine. And then we'll do the Mopni on the back. So we have a Sai and Yedam. Also, I'm so sorry if you hear, like, car noises and stuff. Like, I live way more in the city now than I did, um, obviously at home because... Where I live in America is not the city, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people screaming a lot of the times. It's fun. It's trendy. It's cool. It is a vibe. <laughs> I'm running out of things to say, if you guys cannot tell. I have to edit this footage. It just occurred to me. That's gonna make me so sad. Anyways, so yeah, that's what the hologram cards are gonna look like. And then I just put the little treasure effect cards here. I will, like I said, hopefully reunite them with their other cards soon, but... That's all I got for Yoshi right now, so it's okay. But all right, let's get into the next group, which is going to be ATs. Wuyong is all the way over here. But yeah, I have some of Wuyong's cards. I'm still missing a lot, as you guys can probably tell, but it's just low priority right now. All of these cards I did buy from a Japanese proxy, except I pulled only one, I think. Oh, these are non Wuyong. Um, I pulled this one, I think. Um, so I have all of his limited cards, but I'm still missing a lot of the normal album cards. But before we do that, let's answer another question. Uh, somebody asked, how many cards do you have? That is a really good question. I don't actually know. At home i have never really counted but i think my best guess would be over a thousand here maybe 300 or so i know that i've had to buy four packs of sleeves and i think a pack is a hundred so i'm not sure and then these are just non-biased cards by the way these are just cards that i pulled that i have not been able to trade i don't know if these are going to be up for sale anytime soon but they might be or if i could trade for weon's other cards that'd be great but i'm not really sure because i know that some of these like these two are the limited cards so yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. They're beautiful. Like, I wish I could keep them, but I just don't need them. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But yeah, that's that. Next up, we have Itzy. So we're gonna put my Cherion cards away and then my other cards. Because as you guys probably see, I have a lot of extra cards that I just don't really need of like non-biases, I guess, that I don't collect. Um, and I am missing a lot of Cherion's cards just because I really... <laughs> this is gonna sound stupid. I really hate buying cards. I much prefer trading and I know you guys might be thinking Ariel That's so dumb, but it's like so true trading is so much cheaper Especially if you're already buying an album and the album comes with the right amount of cards for your bias to collect them Um, so I've been really struggling with that recently. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it These are just the limited edition cards. I put the rest of the members here because they're super cute I'll keep them and then we have the rest of the cards that I don't know what I'm gonna do with because I don't know what I'm gonna do with them So that's fun so yeah, these are just the rest of my pulls. Like I said, I have enough cards to trade for Chaeryong and it's just so frustrating that like, I can't really trade right now because I don't really have the means to. So it's just annoying. But yeah, we're gonna see what we're gonna do. Some of these cards are really pretty, like this card and this card, I might keep them. And this, oh my God, my, I might keep this Leah card too. If you, okay, you know, if you see me keeping them, mind your business, but anyways, yeah. I have just a lot of random extra cards. Also, I do not know why this Leah card doesn't have a sleeve. I will sleep it eventually, I promise, but I just do not want to get up and get a sleep. So for right now, that card does not have a sleep. But yeah, that's the Itzy collection. And then now we're going to get into groups I don't collect. So the first one we have is Twice. This is actually really funny because one of the questions was, is there any group that you want to collect? And um, yeah, there's groups I want to collect. The biggest group I want to collect right now is actually Twice. I've been really, really, really interested in collecting Jiho. And I know Twice actually isn't too horrible to collect. But there's just something about them that I'm just terrified of. And especially because I can't trade right now, I really don't want to do it. But yeah, comment down below if you guys collect twice. Is it difficult? Is Jiho difficult? I want to know, like, once is, how's the collecting community? Because 
I am really tempted to collect her, especially because this album only has five cards. It doesn't seem like it would be too, too, too hard. And so I pulled one too, so I only need four more. And I think if I did collect her, I would only do maybe Fancy Forward. I don't think I would do anything before that, but again, who knows? It just depends on how easy it is. If you guys know, I'm, I hit the dry body again. I'm sorry. If you guys know my collection at home, I actually don't have many of Twice's albums, so I could purchase albums and trade from there. But again, I'm not too sure about it. I have not decided. I am extremely indecisive. But yeah, that's the Twice collection. And then I also have the pre-order cards. I just did not feel like putting them in here. I have only have two versions of the album so far, but I do want to get the last one and then maybe collect other albums. But I'm not sure, you guys. I really don't know yet. But I guess we will see. Okay, the next group is CIX. And I don't collect them, but I thought I would just put their cards aesthetically because I like to put cards aesthetically. And the next, co the next question I had was, what's your favorite thing about collecting photo cards? And I really want to say it's like completing a set because like I really love the feeling of like completing a set. But I think like that's not true. I really, really love this is going to sound really bad, but I really love getting mail. It's like such a weird thing, but I love like the community of trading and like having somebody who's also interested in the thing that you're interested in and like getting to talk to them, getting to, you know, trade with them, getting to like send a little cute card and then getting a card that you really want in the mail. There's something so much like serotonin producing about that. And obviously like finishing the collections is like what it's all about. But I really love like the process of like going through and getting all the cards and trading and setting up the trades and getting to talk to other people. Like obviously there, there could be potentially scammers and like people suck, but um, I think that's like my favorite part. And I know that's like really random and bizarre, but it really truthfully is uh, my favorite part. So yeah. For this collection, I just decided to split it up. Um, I did decide, um, this is not a spoiler, but I do collect Sungoon back home. I am not going to collect CIX's cards anymore. I will definitely keep buying their albums, but their cards were just really hard to trade for. And I just, I feel like the way for me to describe, like, if I really feel, like, motivated for a collection is if I'm willing to buy, like, the cards for the collection. And for CIX, I just really wasn't. I'm really not motivated to, like, go find Sungoon's cards. Like, I would totally be down to trade for him. But if I can't find a trade, I'm really not going to worry about it. And plus, Hyunsuk's cards are really cute. I pulled two Hyunsuk, so yeah. I will, like I said, continue to collect their albums, but I just don't think I will be focusing on their photo cards too much uh, anymore. So yeah, that's something I did decide to downsize. I am kind of contemplating downsizing my collection at home, but I don't know you guys, I'm so indecisive. You will probably see that very shortly if you guys didn't already know that. Okay, so the next group we have is 17. I have two Lucky Draws from Ready, what is this called? Your Choice, Ready to Love, no, Your Choice. Um, I pulled Joshua and Dino's. Uh, I didn't really post the unboxing or kind of explain about it, but when I went to Soundwave to get the, oh my God, this Lucky Draw fell out. When I got, went to Soundwave to get the Lucky Draws, they only had two albums in stock, so I could didn't actually get all three versions at Soundwave. I got one at the underground station in Myeongdong. So yeah, these are the only lucky draws I have. And then these are the cards I pulled. So I pulled literally just China Line, which honestly deserve. Uh, so cute. So yeah. And for 17, if you guys did not know, I do not collect photo cards. So I don't care who I pull. I love all the members and I just continue to collect their albums and have a good time. So yeah, that's what I pulled for 17. They're so cute. Okay, and then the next group is Astro. So if you guys don't know, for Astro, I don't collect their photo cards either. I used to collect Sanha, but it just became so frustrating because I feel like the Aroha like trading community is quite small and I'm sorry, my arm is literally in the frame. Please excuse that. And it's just like, it became so annoying to try and find trades for him. So I decided to stop collecting him and I just kept my pulls. And honestly, I'm quite happy with it. I pulled a decent amount of members, so I'm not mad at it at all. And I pulled Tanha's uh, limited edition card with Jinjin, which is sexy. So, I mean, I'm gonna keep it. And like, look at this Moonbin card. Like, he's just like the bestest boy. Like, how could I literally get, look at this Jinjin. Like, I love them all so much. And like I said, I will just continue to buy their albums and just keep what I pull for right now. I think in the future, if I ever wanted to try and collect Sanha, maybe I could, but like, look at this Moonbeam card. How could I get rid of that? I literally genuinely couldn't. It would just make me upset if I did. So yeah, that's my just random Astro album cards. Yeah. Okay, and then the next page is going to be for sf9 and for daniel so for sf9 again i do not collect their cards it's just a decision i made a long time ago their collecting community again is just so small and honestly i only collect one album per version of their albums anyway so i don't really care i just keep what i pull also random but i really love their comeback oh my god everyone's stream is it called teardrop i think it is if it's not i'll fix it but it was so good and then i have two of daniel's magenta cards so we're just gonna put them here so cute so devastating. We love to see it. Amazing. Beautiful. And then I also didn't put fillers in there because I have no brain cells, but just please excuse that. And then the last page in the binder for non-ults is going to be uh, Monster X One Hole Shiny. So we have one Wano album from Love Cinnamon. I know it's Love Cinnamon. 
love cinnamon cinnamon yeah love cinnamon but i call it love cinnamon and then we have my gambler or what is it one of the kind pools so i'm gonna put this one in the middle i think Cute. these also don't fit in sleeve so that's fine and then we have my one p1 harmony card i pulled kiho's card so we're gonna put that here and then we have my two shiny cards so we're gonna put mino and the group here super cute very nice we love to see it so yeah, this is just like random groups I do not collect, but I just kept my pool. So yeah, oh my God, that fell out. Oh my God, these sleeves are driving me insane. Please, please excuse me. Oh my God, my hand is literally in the, f I'm so, if, if anyone is still out there watching this, I'm so sorry. But yeah, and then the last page is just honestly really funny. This is a Polaroid I took at my first little event where I was promoting tourism for Korea. So if you guys wanna see that video, I'll link it up below. And then these are from my birthday video. My friend got them for me for my birthday. They're so cute. So this is my aerial page. And then these are the Moomin things that came with the, what you call it? That came with, how do you speak English? That came with the freebies? Like, no, no. It came with the fillers. This is like the Moomin thing. So yeah, I kept that there. It's cute. Anyways, but yeah, that's this binder. It's a mess, but I mean, it's a work in progress. So yeah, let's move on to the ults binder. Alrighty, we got the ultimates binder now. So we're gonna put all my old stuff away. I have a lot of stuff for this binder, especially NCT. So let's get it. The first group we're gonna put in here is Stry Kids. I made this little page in the front for just like special cards that like mean a lot to me. So here they are. It's Felix Cleo, beautiful glasses card, Singman with apples, and then Chan Titties. <laughs> That's gonna be the front page of this binder. I hope you all can respect my decision. It's just what it's just what the it's what the people needed. Like literally, it's beautiful. <laughs> I think maybe if I could get more like special cards for each member, maybe I'll make like a whole like OT8 page. But for right now, this is what the people needed. So yeah. Anyways, we're gonna skip this. And then now we're gonna get into my OT8 Skazoo set. So I did collect one Skazoo Polaroid for each member of Stray Kids because I really wanted them. I love these Polaroids so much. They are so freaking cute. And I think that I needed to, if I could and I had the money, I probably would collect OT8 for these cards because they're so freaking cute. Like legitimately the serotonin they produce is insane. But for right now, um, collecting just these is fine. And then obviously my biases as well. But yeah, uh, I love Skazoo, literally. I want the plushies to come back on sale, y'all. <laughs> I only have three plushies right now and I want more, so. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Everyone take a moment. And then you see Felix. It's beautiful, I know. <laughs> uh, but let me really quickly answer to the question. I keep forgetting about questions. Ah, who's the most fun idol slash group to collect? That's a really good question. And it kind of goes along with what we're doing because for me, the most fun I have is with Stray Kids. I just personally really, really, really enjoy collecting them. I get the most out of collecting them. Like it's just the most fun for me, if that makes sense. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where the cards are. Everything got mixed up. So yeah, for me, it definitely is Stray Kids. Um, this page is going to be my Tenjin Mino page. And then I also <laughs> don't, you did not see this, okay? Uh, but yeah, Stray Kids for me, you guys know, are the only group that I collect really in depth. Um, I collect OT8 for Korean album cards and some pre-orders, and then I collect, obviously, Hyunjin and Mino special cards. So yeah, it just, they really mean a lot to me. Um, they're obviously one of my top ultimates, and I just thoroughly enjoy collecting them. So yeah, that's probably the best thing I can answer for that. I also really enjoy collecting other idols, but I think Strike It stresses me out, but like in a good way. Like I really feel motivated to collect them. So yeah. Also, this is, nobody needs to this, but I'm gonna start collecting Seungmin's not album cards. Um, I'm gonna do it really slowly, so don't expect a lot, but I think I'm gonna start collecting Seungmin and Mino and Hyunjin just more thoroughly. Um, I downloaded some non-album templates, so that's the first thing i'm gonna do but yeah i will try and get all of simon's um skizu polaroids as well i just don't know where they're gonna go right now so for right now it's gonna look like this um but yeah i think that's my best answer i just love collecting stray kids so much and then for this little page we're gonna have random stray kids cards because of course i have extras so this is a SKZX Stray Kids X card. I have one of Minos and one of Singman's. These are just ones that I don't even know how I got them, but I have them, so that's fun. And then I have this random Felix Go Live online concert pre-order. Then I have Singman's, uh, what is this? I am who draw card. And then I also have Singman's, I am, uh, th no, this is Singman's Stay in London Polaroid. Yep. And then I also have Minos Stay in London. Uh, no, this is his card. This is the Polaroid. Um, yeah, don't, <laughs> and then I have Chani's, uh, mixtape behind card. I actually want to collect all of these, but I don't have Felix's, Jongin's, and Jisung's? Who am I missing? I don't remember, but I was missing Chan's, and actually it was given as a freebie for the Chan Polaroid I bought, so shout out to the person who gave this to me because you are a legend. So yeah, that's my little Stray Kids collection for right now. Um, it's a mess. 
yeah. Okay, next we're gonna get into BTS. I don't have a lot of BTS cards, but I have some. So the first one we have is my Jungkook MTU Lucky Draw. Super cute. And then I have Yoongi's B Essential Edition card because I bought it when I was here. And I have Yoongi's ticket from the uh, Hype Insight pop-up. So obviously it says Ariel Cecilia. And then I just have my pulls from the Map of the Soul 1 photo book. And I did pre-order the new album. I don't know if it's come out by the time this has gone up because I don't know when I'm gonna post in this, but right now it hasn't happened, so. Yeah, there will be more BTS cards in the future, but for right now, that's all we got. And then we're gonna start with EXO. I got a lot, just just a few EXO cards, so let's get it. This is for this page. So for Don't Fight the Feeling, for like the uh, member version albums, they have like one set of cards and I want to collect all of them. But again, trading has just been non-existent here, so it's been kind of annoying. And I actually have none of Baekhyun's cards for this album yet, which is also just really annoying and frustrating. But yeah, this is what we got so far. Anyways, also... For some of them, I use the uh, Weaver's Shop pre-order thingy, so please excuse that. Anyways, now we're gonna move on to the uh, what is this called, <laughs> guys? I can't I can't think of English words. Oh, English is so hard right now. The ID cards. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call them ID cards. I'm sorry, everyone. I know you believed in me, but English is really difficult right now. So please forgive me. Also, if this is like a terrible angle, like, <laughs> please, please don't yell at me. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry I let y'all down with this terrible angle, terrible quality. I hope somebody out there enjoys this because I'm not. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are the IDs from the like member Don't Fight the Feeling cover album. Yep. How do people speak for this long? Like, I'm genuinely running out of things to say. Oh my god. Okay, but this is the Baekhyun page that is not Baekhyun because I don't have any of his cards and then we're gonna go into just random assorted EXO cards that I have so please excuse while I try and find them. I literally pulled a full Shuman set which is kind of funny and I have a lot of Shuman duplicates and then I have these ones so this is how this page is gonna go. It's just gonna be basically Shuman and then one Sehun and then more Shuman and then I pulled a Tao and a Luhan from old EXO albums that I bought so I thought it was funny so I kept them but yeah my entire Shuman set. Uh, but the next question was do you ever feel stressed out when you can't find a card to complete your collection? Honestly it depends on the collection. Like, you guys will know, there's a lot of groups that I collect, but I just don't, I, it's not that I don't care about them, and I don't want you guys to think that I don't, because I really do love and like, oh my god, I'm struggling, care about all my collections, but you have to understand, like, there are collections that I just feel more drawn to, more motivated to, and when a collection is really difficult, it's hard, it is hard to find motivation to like find the old, like find the cards you can't find, if that makes sense. Like, for instance, my old female bias is Irene from Red Velvet, and some of her cards are just stupid hard to find and also just really expensive. And I personally won't go crazy spending money on cards because it's just not worth it in my opinion. Um, I much prefer to buy albums, but a lot of Red Velvet albums are out of print. So I really struggle with like that kind of stuff, but to find a PC, does it stress me out? Um, it depends. Like for, for Red Velvet, like I have cards that I'm missing for Irene, but I'm not really stressed about them because I know that if I do find them, like it'll be ridiculously expensive. But like, for instance, for like Stray Kids, if I'm missing a card, I get really like annoyed, if that makes sense. So yeah, I guess it just depends on the collection. Um, I like to take some slow and like not really worry about them and like get them if I can. And then there's like Stray Kids where I need everything immediately. So yeah, I guess I guess it just depends. Um, and then we get into my Bambi collection. Like a Beckham, for instance. Oh my God, I don't even care like if I can't get his cards because it's just like they're expensive and they're hard and he's expensive so yeah i just i guess i just don't put as much priority onto them if that makes sense i don't really know if that makes sense but for me it makes sense so yeah i'm missing two more cards for ben oh no no i'm not no i'm not ariel what are you doing you have this one it was on the floor so that's like the bambi collection right now oh my god i keep hitting the tripod y'all are probably sick and tired of me anyways here are just some random extra backhand cards so these are all the AR clip cards. I decided to put them on here because I just don't really like them as much. They're not as cute. I mean, they're pretty cute, but not as cute. And then this was given to me as like a freebie by somebody. I don't even know. I got them for free, so that's fun. Um, I think that's like the EXO a Ace Club Fen Kit. And then this is a Booming Stays card, so yeah. Nice. What is next? Ah, I was like, who's next? I know who's next. Bowman. <laughs> so yeah, I guess updates on this. If you guys are kind of new here, um, I did kind of announced that uh bowman's one of my ultimates i mean it's i guess it's no secret to a lot of y'all but um yeah i don't necessarily ult golden child but i do consider bowman as one of my ultimate biases in k-pop just because of the sheer fact that i got the fast crush on this man <laughs> um so yeah i really want to collect bowman a little bit more thoroughly as well because actually in korea he's not too 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 expensive but i don't really know if i will but i obviously did buy his whole yes set and i have everything else complete for him 
And then I have these really beautiful, I think these are Makestar. Yeah, Makestar pre-orders for Yes. So I decided to buy these as well because they were too handsome to say no to. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I guess that's an update for y'all. If you didn't know, Bowman was one of my ults. He's one of my ults, so you're welcome. And then this is just a random page of random stuff. So this is a freebie. It's a, what is it called? Pump it up card, but I got it as a freebie. And then I have a lot of these little Yes things that I really hate, but... I have a lot of them because I got them as freebies. So yeah, that's my Bowman collection. I hope y'all enjoyed. All right, next group. Ah, uh, okay. So I feel like I already answered this earlier, but one of the biggest questions was, what is a group that you really want to collect that you can't afford? And, um... It's NCT. <laughs> I feel like if I could collect NCT further, I really would. Um, this is the Hot Sauce uh, Cafe Dream set. But I feel like, as you guys know, I collect certain groups, like certain members. And the only group I collect full group is Stray Kids. And I really love collecting Stray Kids so much. Like it brings me so much serotonin and I just love collecting all of them. And it's something that like, because I only really collect one group, full group, it is quite achievable for me. But for NCT, their cards are just stupidly over price especially the older ones i think the thing is that makes my um stray kids collection quite good is that i got into it at like a really good time i would say like i got into it at the perfect time i started collecting them right before go live um full group so you guys can imagine like things were a lot cheaper back then right now I, i'm sure it's really hard to collect them full group not impossible but harder but for nct their cars are just so stupidly overpriced um i want to collect ot7 for the dreamies but it's just not achievable right now especially because i collect so many other groups like if i I had the money to just put focus on i kicked the tripod again i'm so sorry if i had money to just put focus onto the dreamies i think it could be achievable but i don't just collect them i collect so many other groups that it's really 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 hard to like prioritize them if that makes sense um so yeah if i had all the money in the world i would probably definitely pick up ot7 for the dreamies i don't know if i would go all the way to collect ot23 for all of nct all units but i mean I mean, I would probably consider it. But yeah, these are the normal album cards for Hadsas. Um, I did purchase um, all of these, because most of these actually, because I didn't pull all of them and they were ridiculously expensive. So we're not going to talk about it. But yeah, I think if I could, I probably would try and collect OT7 for the Dreamies. But... And I mean, there's probably other groups I would collect. Like I'd probably definitely collect twice at that point. Um, and I probably would pick up like three members of an hyphen. Maybe I would collect OT7 and hyphen. I would I'd also love to collect OT5 TXT. That'd be really fun. I really enjoyed that, but again, <laughs> I don't have all the money in the world, so no. But yeah, I was gonna collect Geno for this album as well, but these cards are going for so much. Especially, I think this one, which is like the boring one. I think it's going, I saw it for at least $45 or $50, so <laughs> no thank you, Geno. I love you, but not that much. Um, So yeah, that's kind of how that collection is going. And then we have the AR cards. I'm still missing Runjun's uh, selfie card, so that's great. We love to see it. But I have everyone else's, so that's fun. But yeah, I just, I love these, I love these men so much. Um, if I could collect them, I would. But unfortunately, we cannot, so it's okay. It's fine. I have what I can for them, and I think that's what matters to me most. And I do collect my biases, so I have to be grateful for that, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, Jisung Park, why are you struggling? But yeah, that is the uh, selfie AR cards, and then now we have the behind AR cards. I don't know what these are called. And I'm missing Genos for this one. But again, I just refuse to pay a lot of money for these. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just really do. Um, I haven't seen them going for that much. Um, also, another one of the big questions I got was, where do I purchase them? Uh, right now, I don't really purchase from anywhere other than Japanese proxies or from a Korean site that you need to know Korean for. It's called Bunjong. Um, and I actually don't purchase from there because I can't. My friend buys everything for me. Like, I'll go on the site and like send her links and be like, hey, can you purchase this? Because you need to have an alien registration, which is basically a visa. I have a visa but i don't have the specific card yet to actually make an account for the site so i can't even make an account for the site but i also just use japanese proxies and send them to my obviously my korean address which the japanese proxies do but if i'm at home i buy everything from instagram or mercari us or mercari japan so still japanese proxies yeah, that was a big question. And then we have my Hello Future pools. So this is what I have so far for the normal album. I have one of Mark's and then I'm keeping Haytan's set. You literally could not forcibly take this away from me. It is so beautiful. I need it in my life. And then I do am missing Jamin's set, but I will get that eventually because I'm too lazy to buy it now. And then I will be collecting OT7 for the agent. I think I called them secret agent, but I really don't know what they're called. Um, So I have almost... A good amount of them. My friend gave me marks. Um, we're gonna trade for one of my Runjun duplicates, which is great. Obviously, I pulled Jimin's, which is awesome. So I'm only missing three. Uh, so that's that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. And then this is gonna be for my extra cards. So for hot sauce, I have this Chunla, and then this Jisung pork. Super cute. And then oh, I have this Chunla from Hello Future, which is so cute. And then for the 
Kinos. Obviously, I pulled Runjun and Sunglass cards. So super cute. Again, I'm so sorry if there's any glares or just if this is a mess. You guys just need to understand my life is a mess. And I've also been filming this for like 30 minutes. So that's great. But yeah, that's kind of how it's going. And then we're going to get into Wavy. So I actually did end up just purchasing Kuhn's cards because again, I can't trade. So I thought it would just be easier to purchase his cards. So I have Kuhn's kickback set done. I'm still missing a lot of Kuhn cards, actually. I don't know, you guys. NCT 2020 didn't happen. Like, it didn't happen, and the cards, there's no way the cards are going for as much as they are because I refuse to believe that it's actually real. The cards, you guys, are going for so much money, and it's literally making me want to punch a wall. Um, but these are my actual pulls. I pulled this win-win card, and then I pulled this 10 card. So I'm just putting them with the respective um, sets for Kuhn. It's not age order, I know. And then these are the cards I got from the Kinos that my friend gifted me. So I got Win-Win and Hendry. Let me see this one. Win-Win goes first. Okay, Win-Win first. And yeah, I'm just keeping what I pulled. I don't collect Kinos for any group of NCT because Kinos go for, again, ridiculous amounts of money, guys. Collecting NCT is probably the worst out. Oh my god, it will stop hitting the tripod. Anyways, collecting NCT is probably the worst thing I've ever done to myself. <laughs> they are one of my ultimates, but like, why are they so expensive? Like, literally why? And then this page is for my Kinos because I bought a bunch of Kinos and I got an NCT 2020 album um, gift to me. So these are the 127 Kinos I bought. This is the Superhuman and this is the Neo Zone. And then these are the NCT 2020 part two. So these are the different versions. And then this is the extra version I pulled. So I got my Shotaro photo card, which nobody could take away from me. I will probably keep it. <laughs> and then I got 10, which I would love to trade 10 for Jaehyun if I could, but I just don't think it'll be possible. So we're just gonna cry for a long time. So yeah, that's the entity. And then we also just have some duplicates. Again, I wish I could sell and I wish I could trade, but I can't. So we're just gonna put all my duplicates in here and keep them safe until I go home. I don't know when I'm going home, but one day I will go home and sell these, I promise, because I don't need duplicates. Um, so yeah, ah, so sad. Anyways, 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 that is it. Oh, that took so long. Okay, that's the entity section. And then the last section in this binder is for an, a group that's not an ultimate, but I just felt like they should go in here and that's TXT. So yeah, let's get into the TXT stuff. Okay, so the first page for TXT is going to be normal album cards. Now, if you guys did not know, for TXT, I do collect Subin and Yeonjun and I have all of their PCs actually, but for this album, because I bought three sets of the album, it just worked out perfectly that I could collect another member and I actually pulled two of Bungu's cards and I only needed one more. So my friend bought a lot of albums. So I just decided to collect Bungu as my third member. So yeah, that is the TXT collection. Also, I put Subin first and I put Yeonjun in the middle. I know age order, but also leader order, also bias order, so please excuse. I actually don't really have like a third bias in TXT. Like Subin and Yeonjun are just my biases. And then uh, I, I just, I love all of them. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't have a third bias, but like I said, because I pulled two of Bumgyu's cards, it just kind of worked out. So I decided to collect Bumgyu and also his cards are beautiful. Like <laughs> I could not get rid of them. So yeah, also this is Yeonjun card. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I had a lot of questions in the Q&A about like, who should I collect, blah, 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 blah. And guys, I can't answer that for you. I know, I know it could be like, it's easier said than done, but like, just collect what you want to collect. Um, I know it's hard to sometimes figure that out, but truthfully, like, you know what you want to collect. Like, if you're like really, really, really wanting a card, like you want to collect that group, you know what I mean? Um, I, I can't answer that for you and it might be frustrating, but I just really can't. Um, you gotta collect what you want to collect and you gotta collect how you want to collect. Nobody should be able to tell you how to collect, you know what I mean? Like you have to decide that for yourself, so. Yeah, I'm sorry if that is like really unsettling, but that's just kind of my answer. I, I can't answer it. <laughs> my answer is I can't answer it, you know what I mean? Um, and these are the Seeker cards for TXT. I collected all of them. But yeah, I, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't answer that. Also, I had somebody ask me who I collect for NCT. Uh, for NCT, I collect Mark, Jamin, Je oh, Jeno, no. Mark, Jaehyun, Jamin, and Kuhn. So four members right now. So yeah, those are the secret cards. And then we have TXT pre-order benefits and lucky draws. Okay, so you guys actually haven't seen some of these because I didn't post the unboxing that I told you guys I was gonna post. So I'm sorry, but the first ones we have are the, uh, I think these are the Soundwave lucky draws. Yes, these are the Soundwave. This card was the only thing getting me through some of the last days of school last semester. So I needed it. So yeah, these are the Soundwave ones. Um, I pulled these ones. Actually, I didn't pull them, my friend pulled them, but that does not matter. And then these are the Weavers pre-orders. You guys haven't seen these, but I pulled Yeonjun, Bumgyu, and Taehyun. These are super cute. I honestly would want Subins, but again, why do I collect the most expensive member of every group? I don't know. I have a problem if you guys did not know. So Subin is ridiculously expensive and I really just don't feel like 
spending a, a crap ton of money on them. So I am totally content with the ones that I have. And then for M2U, I pulled Bungu, Taehyun, and Kai, which are super cute. I actually ended up pulling all of Taehyun's, but I love them so much, so I don't care. Genuinely, I don't care if I pull my bias or not. I love all members of this group, so I'm happy with whoever I have, and I love them, so yeah. Those are the lucky draws slash pre-order benefits, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, that, that's the TXT page. It's really beautiful. I love this page. And I have one of each member, which makes me so happy, so I could care less about the rest of it. Anyways, all right, the last page is going to be for duplicates because obviously I have duplicate stuff because that's what happens when you can't trade. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are just for my duplicate TXT cards up here uh but these are the last two cards i actually needed to complete my txt collection back home and i bought these at a used k-pop a used bookstore <laughs> technically um but you guys haven't seen the video yet i still don't know when i'm gonna post it but i promise that video will come soon but yeah so spoiler for that video i bought these with the albums uh so these are the last two cards i needed for my uh subin and taehyun uh, subin and taehyun subin and collection and then this is subin's uh hype insight ticket i bought one for each of my high biases so yeah cute that is it you guys the rest is just uh extra sleeves so yeah that is that's the whole binder y'all that is the whole thing okay but really quickly i just want to go through this little binder like i mentioned this is an a5 binder i got it from Artbox, and i got a i got a i got through a rabbit hole you guys of watching k-pop youtube i probably just explained this earlier but i really wanted to get one of these and put some of my smaller collections in here but this one actually didn't come with like actual photo card size uh sleeves so i decided to just put like bigger inclusions in it and this only was i think about like 15 dollars no maybe like nine dollars i think it was nine dollars from artbox it was really inexpensive and it came with all the sleeves so i decided to put all the bigger inclusions in it it is super cute um, I think I'm just gonna keep it as a like bigger inclusion binder. So obviously the first thing we have in here This is uh, Junkyu's Weaver's pre-order for the light stick. It's super cute And then we have Baekhyun's Bambi bigger inclusion So we have the cards and then the film strips and then the postcards super cute And then we have Kun's uh, and Wavy's kickback postcards <laughs> I'm forgetting how to speak English. Uh, so we have the group and then Lucas's and then we have the NCG Dream Polaroids from Hello Future So we have Mark and Hyeseon and then Mark and Jisung Park. And then we have Olive and Hypen's Border Day One postcard, just because I thought they were cute and I thought I could put them in here. So I have all the members, super cute, just in age order. And then we have a lot of the Google package stuff. So this is one of the first unit of fo four picture film thingies. And then we have all of the film strips. So we have obviously all of the members as well. Again, I told you I have a lot of issues putting Jungwon as like first or putting Jungwon as in the age order. I don't know. It's just my brain. And then we have some 17 um, your choice inclusion. So these are the, from some of the stuff. These are the little like stickers. And then we have the postcardies. So we have Hoshi, Mingyu, Sinkwon, and then the DK and Jungwon units. And then we have this Huiyong SF9 thingy majigi. That's nice. And then we have the twice inclusion. So we have Chewie and Nayeon's little circle cards. And then we have uh, Dahyun and Cheon's, um, what is it called? Lenticular cards. And then we have Momo's postcard. I pulled a duplicate of this, so I only just put one in the binder. And then we have a Kang Daniel little thing and a Wano thing bookmark size so that's nice and then we have some mono postcards super cute and then we have a shiny postcard and then we have my p1 harmony standy which is deung's so yeah that's basically this little binder i think it's really cute i like it so i'm gonna keep it so yeah you guys we made it through the video again this probably has a lot of mistakes and it's probably a mess but i wanted to just try making photo card content again here i will try and improve this setup and this content so i can make better content for you guys and I, i'm just gonna let you guys know i don't get as many cards as i do in america in the mail obviously i get none in the mail base actually I buy cards that is a I lied to you I do buy cards but I won't be doing like storing cards in my binder as frequently maybe as other youtubers just because I really only keep what I pull and I don't buy albums that frequently and I just really can't trade as much here I would love to start trading again but we don't know when that's gonna happen because I just don't feel comfortable giving people my address here um obviously for safety reasons um I didn't give out my address in America and I won't do it here either so yeah if I do get the opportunity to get a PO box here I will definitely start trading as soon as I can but for right now this is all we got I hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope it kind of gives you guys a little flavor of my photo cards here um yeah i love you guys so much if you guys want to see my actual photo card collection that i have at home of my nine photo card binders i'm gonna link my tour down below if you guys want to see that if you guys are new subscribers and you don't really know who i collect go watch that and you guys will get a taste of everybody i do collect but yeah i love you guys i love all the support you guys give me and i love making photo card content i really hope this one wasn't too 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 bad <laughs> but yeah i will see you guys next time bye guys mm -hmm.